Hello guys! How do you think? What is the best St. Valentine's present for every Ukrainian woman? And no, that is not that simple as flowers. We prefer destroyed Russian warships. And today, early in the morning, we've received such a present from Ukrainian intelligence services that destroyed huge Russian landing ship Caesar Kunikov in the waters of the Black Sea. And I love recording videos like that, where I can tell you more about Ukrainian special military operations conducted with the help of developed in Ukraine marine drones, and a bit about this ship that has finally joined the warship Moskva somewhere in the bottom of the black waters of the Black Sea. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and their warships in the Ukrainian waters. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status, hit notification button and remember I love you and not just on St. Valentine's Day. So today all of us, both Ukrainian men and women, woke up to a really good present. We've learned about the destruction of another very big, actually it is 112 meters long, Russian landing ships that Russian army was actively using in the Black Sea. Caesar Kunikov was previously destroyed uh, this summer, then it went out from the docks being repaired on the 14th of May to be upgraded to a submarine on the 14th of February. This is another ropuha style landing ship that Russia used to supply tanks, military vehicles and crew to uh, various zones of Ukraine where they wanted to cause trouble. But now they don't have this opportunity uh, or they can continue special underwater military operations. Anyway, the ship sank really quickly after it was targeted with six Ukrainian developed marine drones known as Magura V. And I'm super proud as a Ukrainian that we have such technologies and they work super well on us. Actually, at the start of invasion, Russia had like 13 ships and now it has five and five are not operating properly. So we can say that one of the greatest successes of Ukrainian counteroffensive is actually almost complete destruction of the Russian Black Sea Navy. Remember to subscribe to demonstrate your solidarity and to see more of Russian military objects on fire. As a Ukrainian, I promise you that. So these drones targeted the ship on the left side. It uh, turned and sank really quickly. From what we know and from the conversations that were caught by Ukrainian intelligence services, um, there was a special rescue operation and actually two helicopters and one boat were sent to the zone of uh, this landing ship sinking, but they returned with nothing. Oh, we don't know what happened. Russians will say they stopped all the drones, but it's obvious the ship sank and the pilots of this rescue Russian helicopters described the area and we can literally hear them saying nothing left, just the oil spot. We may uh, multiply this experience to all Russian Black Sea Navy saying nothing left, just lots of evil oil spots. Anyway, uh, this Caesar Kunikov was a big landing ship, more than 100 meters uh, long. What is most important, Ukrainian intelligence services worked really hard to observe when it is full. I mean, with lots of cargo on it because it's capable of carrying 650 tons of cargo. And uh, it was the moment when it was full with 
Russian tanks or military vehicles. Actually, um, this ship also has um, missile launchers and various artillery pieces. So it was heavy. It was obvious uh, when looking at its position behind, below the now below, yeah, now really below the sea level. And that's the moment when we targeted it with six Magura drones. <clears throat> and romantically, Caesar Kunikov joined warship Moskva, and now there is actually a huge underwater Russian fleet in the Black Sea. Uh, this was one of the best landing ships in Russia, Project 775, um, one of the uh, latest but still developed back in Soviet times. This is another important thing that we all have to remember about Russian army. Not only they fight for the past, not only they live in the past, but they also use very, very past, long, never updated technologies. And that's why it's so important to supply Ukraine and to help us win because they have millions of people they are ready to sacrifice and we have millions of friends who are ready to stop authoritarian regimes uh, in Ukraine. We don't want them to move uh, further. And uh, what is also very important, this uh, landing ship was uh, used to set mines and you know it's a tragedy because lots of innocent people uh, die on these mines and Ukraine, both the land and equatoria of the Black Sea is one of the most heavily mined territories in the world and it's actually painful for me to speak about that and we already uh, witnessed some um, trade ships that explode on these Russian mines and unfortunately this is something that we will feel for decades even after Russia is defeated. So the more of such ships we stop and destroy, the better and the safer this planet is. Because once again, Russia is a global evil and this is not a local conflict. And united we uh, stand. So this is once again, not just good news for Ukrainians. This is good news for everyone because Russia is losing its military capacities. It's losing its ships like two-thirds of its Black Sea Navy um, is underwater right now. And uh, by the way, these are not just ships that they cannot build quickly or they cannot get new ones. These are also vehicles and tanks uh, that were on board of these ships. And of course, the image of Russia and a very beautiful message to all the population that supports war you will lose. And the best St. Valentine's present. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram and because of St. Valentine's Day, we plan to make a small competition there and the winner will get a t-shirt from our merch shop. Uh, do subscribe on my Instagram and by the end of the week, I will provide you uh, the instructions. Also, I'm on Twitter, on threads and on Discord. And please be careful because from time to time, we do have scammers on the channel who invite you to Telegram and WhatsApp. I never do that. I never invite you to chat somewhere uh, out of the comments. These are always scammers. We always report them and please do that too. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Uh, have a happy Valentine's Day with your loved ones. Check our new merch collection. And once again, because of St. Valentine's Day, we have 14% discount on all the products that help you remind people about Ukraine and also tell a lot about our cultural heritage and our new military traditions. So do check these items, but most importantly, united we stand and I love you very much. And I love your countries. I love your cultures. And I so much dream that one day soon, uh, you will be able to visit peaceful Ukraine and discover more of my beautiful country. Slava Ukraina.